subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hi everyone, this is Devashree and you're watching me on Nika TV. So in today's video, I am going to talk about hair color and all of the myths associated with it. So there are a couple of products that I wanted to talk about with you guys. Okay, so a lot of you ask me what sort of shampoo and what sort of conditioner should be used for color treated hair. And there is a lot of um, stigma associated with people when they first color their hair. So I wanted to discuss a little bit on that before I show you the product in itself. So not only if you color your hair in the salon but also at home, you do feel that you know your hair feels very soft, very smooth but then as and when the days goes, you realize that your hair is starting to get really frizzy. What normal shampoo does is that it slowly corrodes the color off of your strand and then slowly your hair color starts looking brassy it uh, loses all of its luster it is always advisable to use something that is sulfate free uh, because that way it's not eroding the color very quickly I like to use this one from L'Oreal professional uh, this is their Innova color care with argan oil and green tea and like I mentioned this is sulfate free and the conditioner the same conditioner in the range this is again the Innova color care and with argan oil and green tea so before I started using this, I have used another color product shampoo from L'Oreal Professional. It's going to be linked down below, but I think ever since I started using this one, I don't think so I can go back. Um, because how nicely it conditions and nourishes my hair. So what it does is that it protects the strand. It seals in all of the cuticles and it makes sure that the color does not fade away. Um, another thing is that um, a lot of people think that when you color your hair, it's going to get really, really dry. You're going to get hair fall. Uh, but it all depends on how well you take care of your hair. If you're going to neglect your hair, of course, it's going to be dry and damaged, even if you've not colored your hair. So you need to uh, obviously give it a little extra conditioning. And I think this conditioner just does that. Since I mentioned extra nourishment and giving a little bit more conditioning to your colored hair, I actually have two a uh, hair mask to suggest. Uh, the first one is from Juicy Chemistry. This is made up of pure argan oil, so it's very rich. And this is a pre-shampoo mask. So you're supposed to use this before you shampoo your hair. Don't use this after you condition, like as a conditioner, because um, it's not going to come off and it's going to make your hair feel oily. Also make sure that you take very little amount and build it gradually in case you feel like your hair is still thirsty. Another myth or kind of a thing that people follow is that when they use say a hair mask or hair oil they tend to sleep uh, with the hair oil on. I think keeping the hair oil or hair mask on your hair for an hour or two just does the job and in case you're using uh, steam it's just going to infuse it much quicker. In case you don't have a steamer what you can do is just wet your towel in very hot water, squeeze out all of the excess water and then just wrap the towel around your hair as a turban. So this is again going to infuse all of the moisture from the mask into your strands and this way your color will remain shiny, your hair is going to feel very strong and it will not fade away as quickly. So the other hair mask that I wanted to mention is from Tony and Guy. This is their Nourish Reconstruction Mask. Now this is again something that I've used a lot. Uh, so this one is for those of you who feel like your hair is already really damaged and it's been a long time that you know you've colored your hair, uh, then this reconstruction mask is great for you. Now this one is a post shampoo mask so you're supposed to use this after you've cleaned your hair and you can do that once a week twice a week this one isn't as heavy but it's quite nourishing and make sure that you're using the mask only on the length of your hair and not near the scalp so the next product is actually something it's like a secret of mine this is from Eve's Rocher and this is their rinsing vinegar this is their raspberry one and it's like pink in color See, throughout the week when you're using a lot of products, like product buildup is actually one of the biggest cause of your hair getting discolored and this is going to make sure that your hair is going to be absolutely clean and it's going to make that shine come through. After you're done shampooing your hair and you're rinsing your hair, 
in the last rinse, you just add this. It just take a little bit, wash it um, along with water and it's just going to ensure that your hair is thoroughly cleansed. And then you can go ahead and use the reconstruction mask that I was talking about so that your hair is completely clean and your hair can absorb the mask better. Another important thing for colored hair is to use a live-in conditioner or a live-in serum. So one of my recent favorites have been the uh, L'Oreal Professional Mythic Oil. Uh, this is for all types of hair and this is like a all in one sort of a hair oil. If you don't take care of your colored hair, it usually gets really dry and damaged and frizzy and this is a lifesaver. So this you can use on your wet hair right after you're um, out of the shower. You can just take a little bit, take a few pumps of it and just apply this onto the strands below your ear. Again, don't apply it onto your scalp. This oil is very, very light very fast absorbent it adds in that shine uh, back into your hair it adds in the moisture um, and you can even use this on second day hair when your hair is like really dry uh, one of my favorite things to do is apply dry shampoo on my scalp because it tends to get oily during the second day and then use mythic oil onto the ends so that you know it just adds in a little bit of the shine uh, so this is something that all of you must have even if you don't have colored hair uh, this is a great everyday leave-in serum. Since I mentioned dry shampoo, this is again one of my favorites. This is from Batiste. This is their Dry Shampoo Plus in Divine Dark. Now I'm showing this one for you because most of us are brunettes or have naturally black hair and this one is dark in color so you don't really get that white cast and I love the formulation from Batiste um, and I love how intensely the spray comes off of the nozzle. So you just spray in a little bit of this onto your like dirty hair or next day like second day hair and then just rub it off a little bit so that it soaks off the excess oil and you're good to go. Why I mentioned dry shampoo for colored hair is that it's not really okay to wash your hair very often when it's colored. Not only it's going to strip off the color very quickly but it's also going to make your hair really oily sooner. So the more you wash it the more oil your scalp is going to produce. Dry shampoo extends the longevity of the hair wash uh, so that way your hair color is protected your hair gets really nice volume and you get really good texture and all in all it's a lifesaver. Last but not the least I have this from Tony and Guy. This is their heat protection mist anti-static control. This is one of the most important things that you must absolutely must have if you have colored hair and even if you don't have colored hair you need heat protection a uh, blow drying is still fine but then directly curling and using straightener would definitely lead to your hair getting damaged faster fade faster but using a heat protection mist like this one um, will really help in protecting the hydration in your hair so what this does is that when you are running the straightener through your hair this it has a coat on the strands so instead of the moisture evaporating from inside your strands the moisture from the heat protection evaporates away that's how it protects your hair uh, this one has a protection uh, up to 200 degrees celsius uh, which is the highest temperature for most of the heat tools available in the market take it a little further away from your hair and then spray it before uh, you are going to blow dry straighten or curl uh, you can use this on wet hair you can even use this on dry hair so that's it for this video those were all of the myths that i wanted to mention now these are the products that you would need to take care of your hair post coloring and I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out the description box for all of the links and uh, to check out all of the products that I mentioned in this video. Also, please subscribe to Nika TV for more videos like this and to watch us talk about amazing products like these and I'll see you very soon. Bye!